what's going on everybody john from slavs fishing coming at you again with another youtube video we're about to go on a streak every single day upload 12 p.m y'all gotta stay tuned some crazy stuff's about to come through this next few months guys right now i'm about to go pick up my buddy keith again or paul aka yin catching all kinds of names for my man but stay tuned we're gonna hit the skyway fishing pier we're gonna see if we can't do some snapper fishing maybe even catch a grouper a tarpon you never know, we could even catch a Goliath grouper. I'm gonna go see what baits we can't get. We're gonna stop at Gator Gems and we'll be right on the pier. You guys stay tuned. That boy. Hey, yes, sir, Ski. Let's get her. Let's do it. Bull. Oh, stop yeah. Playing. It's time, boys. Out we go. So, me and Paul just pulled up. We had Gator Gems now. You know, just the best tackle shop in the St. Pete, Tampa Bay area. Let's go in here. Y'all, we gotta get a couple weights. How you doing? Good, my man. Hey, I love the shoes, boss. Hey, thank you. <laughs> uh, every weight selection, they got all the hook selections. They got everything in this place. Also need swivels, cause I always run out of swivels. All right, y'all, so we got some BKK all-rounders. BKK is one of the best hooks right now. So we got Julian. He works here at Gator Gyms. He's cashing us out. Just cashed out. We just found my boy Rob. He had the tackle shop. Y'all, we about to go. We about to go get on these snapper like no other. Go try and get a group or something like that. Got Richie Rich out there. You know, Gator Gyms is just that spot. I'm telling y'all, best tackle shop. It's the coolest little place. They got everything you need. They got the live baits back there. They got ice. Y'all come check them out. All right, y'all, so we're out here on the pier now. We got the cast nut out. Got to get these baits that we just seen down here. Make sure your nuts always untangled before you throw. You don't want to have to keep throwing, so. First thing I do, I look down here. I see the bait down there, so I'm gonna throw. Now I gotta let that sink. Y'all check this out. Are y'all ready for this? Are y'all ready for this? Y'all gotta come out to the pier, bring your cast set, load up on bait. Chum, they will come, boys. All right, y'all, we got some chum cut up. We're just gonna keep knocking it in, creating that line. Just want a chum slick going back, guys. Constant. Like I said, you're bringing them out of these holes, these pilings, and you're trying to get them into the middle so that you don't get broke off as much. Got our bucket of baits right here. Grab this, we got our Carolina rig. Got about two feet a liter, two ox J hook, circle hook. It's actually an all rounder from BKK, like I said. Y'all see me pick those up. I'm gonna cut these, cut a couple pieces of bait up. These are green bags. We got a bunch of bread fence that jump. First thing I wanna do, take this bait just like this. Hook it perfectly like that, guys. That's a streamline. Streamline. You want to take it? Pass it back up underneath here. Y'all watch this. Watch how instantly this is. If these snapper are chewing, I'll be on it. Alright, y'all. First fish of the day. Got a baby red grouper. Just like I said, Carolina rig. Dropping about a chunk of bait down. Look at the colors on that fish, guys. It's a small little red grouper. Maybe we can get a bigger one. Bye bye. Hooked up again, guys. Be another red grouper. I can't get away from these red grouper, guys. They're cool. They put down a little fight. Like I said, we need to jump in one of those big ones. I know they're out there. Look at that fish. The feeling of a grouper. Like sandpaper rubbing this way and super soft going that way. Look at those eyeballs, guys. Back in the water. Alright, so 
My boy Paul just hooked up, bro. Something crazy to smoke them, bro. Another red grouper right here. I think he just got worked by a monster grouper, guys. Look at that. A little bigger. We're getting bigger, guys. Maybe we can catch a keeper one of these today. You never know. Dude, whatever just smoked teeth. Paul, a.k.a. Ian Ketchum. Absolutely gave it to him, guys. Get that fish back in the water. All right, check this out. Let's see how instant we can get eight again. Gonna hook this half a green back up. Alright guys, just rebaited, go ahead and cast it back, let it drop down, when it does close your bail, make sure you're tight, feel the bottom. Yo, I just hooked a monster on the 5k. Must have been a Goliath, guys. Y'all check out this sea turtle right here. He just came up for a breath of air. Paul just broke off again. Gave nice himself a knuckle buster. We're dropping down right now, guys. Like I said, you're gonna get to that bottom. You wanna wait till you feel that thumpy thump. There he is, oh. Let some line back out when you miss the bite. All right, y'all, been about an hour, hour and a half, so no bites. Tide's starting to slow down, so we're gonna make our way down the pier, try and find some other fish to chum up. Y'all stay tuned. The first thing we do when we pull up to one of these spots, we get, get a couple cut baits and just start dropping them in, guys. See how they look in that water? It's gonna get that flashing going right over to that piling right there. Check that out. Rinse and repeat, guys. Look at them all, guys. Check that out. You got eight by shark. Bro. Bro, y'all check this freaking stingray out. You got eight by a shark, bro. That's freaking nuts. That's why he was swimming so low, so slow, guys. I gotta get another rod so I can flip him. All right, guys, here's the freaking stingray that I just hit. I just snagged him up for bait. Y'all, he got ate by a freaking shark, dude. This is nuts. This was super recent, guys. He barely had a hook, too. He didn't bite. All right, y'all, so we just actually got that ray, just like you've seen. Now we just moved back to the end because we had a Goliath eating our bait. So we cut this chunk of ray up. Let's hook him up. Drop that down and maybe a Goliath will eat it. Come 
So we had that Goliath bait down there right there, and dude, he smoked it, and okay, so the line double wrapped in here, it got over wrapped, and he, he couldn't pull drag, guys, so what happened, it started turning, and it just shredded my eyes, so I gotta get this rod rebuilt. That sucks, guys, but that was a monster. That was what we were looking for. Sometimes things happen, and you gotta deal with it. Big L's. Alright, so after that mishap there, just kind of had to get my brain right, realize what what just happened. We're going to switch up, Tad switched, we're going to do some grouper fishing, see if we can catch a couple. Snapper kind of slowed down, they were good midday, but time to catch a grouper, so y'all stay tuned, we're going to catch some pinfish, see what we can do. Paul's over here, he's catching a pinfish on the sabiki rig. We're just lining it up with some pieces of squid. We got dolphins all around us right now, guys, but we're making it shake. We always make it shake. Ain't that right, Paul? All right, y'all, I got the pinfish hooked up through the tail. Got my torium. We're gonna do some free lining, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We ended up, we got a couple snapper, couple grouper in the beginning. Got ended up worked by a Goliath twice, two different rods. It was a pretty cool video, guys. Sun's starting to set. Been out here for a while. It's about time to get home. Get this video edited. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, drop a comment, tell, tell Paul what up. All right. I'll see y'all on the flip side.